So here's how you change time signatures in Reason. I'm starting with an empty rack here, but you can do this in any type of file that you had. And you have on the very top a transport lane here in your edit window. And all you need to do is select the transport and from the edit up above, go to param parameter automation and select time signature. Click on it and say OK. And instantly we'll see that this opens up so that we can now change our time signature. We have a tune that's right now, if I do the click, you'll hear it's in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. And you can see the count off is also in 4. So let's say in bar 5, I want a bar of 2-4. So I select my pencil tool, and I see these different time signatures. I could put any time signature, but let's put a bar of 2-4 right here. And I'm going to go and turn this on so that I'm doing it by the bar. And I'm going to draw with my pencil tool. If I want to see a little, I can expand this so I can just see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw for one measure. And now I have a 2-4 bar that's been inserted. And then the default goes back to the 4-4. Four, four. So that if I start in my 4-4, four, four, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now I'm all set. And then a drum pattern that I want to do, I should make sure that uh, I have a 2 far 4 pattern if I'm doing it there. Um, and we can do this multiple times. Uh, we could stretch out this. If it turns out we want more than one bar of 2-4, we can just stretch that for as long as we want. Um, we can move that. If it turns out we put it in the wrong place, we can just pick it up and move it over and have a 2-4 bar someplace else. Um, and so we can manipulate our time signature completely. We can also do the same thing with tempo. If we want to have uh, speed is up in uh, the tempo or a sudden change, um, if we go under the parameters and check tempo as well, then we could change our tempo at any point. And so that when we were right here, we're, we can create a, uh, a window here for our, our tempo. Um, and then if we double click on that window, we can um, then draw in at whatever tempo that we want. And if we started off at, let's say, 136 beats per minute, and then we wanted to slowly accelerando go through a whole section, let's say to the end of our 2 4 bar, we could just draw that up to 179 beats. Per, and so that our tempo gets faster and faster until we're at a new tempo. And then we could decide at the very end we want to have a retard. So we could slowly retard over a long period of time if we wanted, or a short period of time, and go faster and slower. There you have it.